Hello guys, welcome back. Since we're changing the channel as we told you last week, we're going to change the format of these meditations a little bit too. We're going to start off with a story. As I'm doing the story, if you want to change into comfortable clothes and you want to go ahead and get a snack or a drink or do whatever you need to do, go ahead and do that as I'm telling, telling you. If you want to pause and then hear the story, that's okay too. We're going to be working with Freya this week, and Freya and Freya are God and Goddess that have been wanting to work with me for at least 12 years, and this is where I tell you, you are going to work with Mary, do whatever you see it as with the God and the Goddess, not with any strange religion that has decided that they have, you know, have formed around them. Um, the gods and goddesses have nothing to do with religions. Absolutely nothing. It is humans who make religions. We have to remember that, my dears. They went in to work with me about 12 years ago. I got my first client said so it was either as a true or heathenry, and I noped the heck out of there. I refused to work with them because all these people seemed to be was crazy and intense and rude and combative, and why on earth would I want to work with that? God of peace and plenty, my right eye, these people seem really angry. And so I wouldn't work with them. And so for years and years, they have been coming forward and trying to work in my life until recently, they kind of were like, okay, you are going to retire from doing these face videos because you are exhausted and burnt to a little nub. And you are going to do healing work because they are both gods that can be seen as gifted in peace and plenty and healing. Freya and Freya often work, you know, in combination with each other as I am learning. At least it is in my case. Though you can certainly work with Freya or Freya separately. And what I had to overcome is even today when I did research myself, I came across the same exact kind of people. Of, oh, you think you can work with Freya? Well, you can't because we own him and we put our stamp on him. And if you don't do things exactly as we randos on the internet told you to do, you can't work with him because we said so. And, you know, it, it was it was like, wow, really? Okay, okay. And it wasn't even me being addressed. It was some poor person that actually deleted their, their you know, their comment because they made the mistake of going deep and reread it and saying, you know, could they please work with um, Freyer in some way? And they got dogpiled there, and they went to Azatru, I guess, and they got dogpiled there. And all the heathens in Azatru st st stood around and laughed and congratulated themselves because they ruined something for Freyer. How'd that work out for them ultimately, I wonder? Um, never be the person to step in front of someone else's relationship, especially with Freyer, Freya, but Loki, any of the gods. If you think someone is heading for a brick wall, you can tell them. But you can't start off with, my religion says you can't, therefore you're not going to, or I'm going to. What are you going to do? They're on the internet. Calm down, Karen. So, I <laughs> got, yay, Loki is still indeed with us. So, you know, we hope that wasn't too intense a first story time, but, you know, um, I had to overcome a lot of, you know, hurt feelings that, you know, it seemed like the only people that were involved with Heath and Rear as a true or anything were mean, nasty people that were the total opposite of this kind, gentle God. And I was like, well, I must be reading him wrong. But, you know, what I've learned from Freya and Freya is that you don't have to be fill in the blank to work with them. A lot of people aren't agree going to agree with that, but we don't have them in the label, so who cares? I thought, <laughs> yay! <laughs> so Loki's and these still with us. Okay, so if you guys still didn't get your snack and drink and you want it, or you need to change into comfy clothes, go ahead and pause. We're going to begin our meditation shortly. Okay, you guys ready? All right, we're going to begin as we always do with a breath in. Let's breathe in, please. And breathe out and let it go. Let go all the things that you have drug into this meditation. Maybe you were angry and hurt too. Maybe you made this beautiful altar to Freyer and somebody on the internet started a dog pal. Or maybe you serve them with the wrong colors, like making ear quotes or something. Just let that go because it's not hurting that other person. It would be nice if it worked that way. <laughs> I'm seeing laughter and cheers back there. 
But it doesn't hurt the other person. It only hurts you. Just let it go. Let the baby have their bottle. Let them be right in their own tiny world. You are with Freya now. You are with a Lord of Peace and Plenty. He really doesn't care about color or candles or anything else. He cares about you. I'm getting this enthusiastic nod. He loves you. Same thing with Lady Freya, who is also on board. So if you want to work with Freya more on this one, I'm getting a nod from Freya. Oh, it's it's good. Or Loki. This will be a one one video for three gods. There you go. There's your deal. <laughs> Whoever you want to work with. Drag your patron deity and We have plenty of room. I got yeah. So, you know, Lord Freya and Freya and apparently Loki have called us here and said, you know, they understand that a lot of times other people can get in our way. Some people mean well, and they think that if we don't do it the way that we they were told to do it, something bad will happen to us. Some people are just plain bossy. Some people are mean for the fun of it. Some people are just professional level trolls. Anyway, you don't have to let any of those people bother your relationship. You can't take back the past. You can't take over sharing on Reddit or Tumblr or Twitter or whatever you did and getting a bad experience. I'm sorry, my darling, but even we don't have that power as awesome as we are in this channel. I got, yeah! But what you can do is going forward, take what you need to to Freya and Freya. And if you think it is something that would get you dog pals, you don't have to share it on the internet. It's kind of like... You learn if you go off to college, you don't have to tell mom and dad everything that you do. You don't have to tell the internet. The internet is not mom and dad. You don't have to tell them everything you do with Freya and Freya. In fact, that might be good advice. I got, yep. So we have agreed to meet with them here. And we're in this beautiful, you want to call it mountainous, this beautiful, gorgeous place with waterfalls and chirping birds and clouds and rainbows. I think... Freya liked it, but I think Loki might have had a hand in this too. And I got, yeah. And we are here to meet with them. And Freya says, please, come. Come walk with me. Now, you know it's Freya. He is a good, kind god, a lord of peace and plenty. If you want to go swimming under the waterfall with him, or you want to walk up by the rainbows, or you want to listen to the birds, or if you are more comfortable with getting closer to a god and you want to have a cuddle, this would definitely be the god to have some serious cuddle time with. It's all good. You, I'm getting, you want to have a picnic or something? Go ahead. You want to invite Freya and Loki too? You want to invite all the gods and goddesses? How fun. Freya is a lord of peace and plenty, bountiful harvest for everyone. Now what he is going to ask that you do during the following musical interlude is to truly open your heart. You can tell him all the hurts you have picked up over the years. Maybe you read something on, you know, in a book or on a blog that hurt your feelings. Maybe you got jealous. Maybe someone was mean to you because you shared an experience. Whatever the hurt is between the two of you, you have to share it with him or he can't fix it, okay? And I, I'm getting enthusiastic nods. And that goes for Freya or Loki or any other god or goddess you want to do that healing with. You can do it here and now. So during the next musical interlude, guys, please take advantage of this time to do that healing work. And if you want to get a message from Freya or Freya or Loki or whoever you want to get a message from, go ahead and you can do that now. You know, during the music, you know, get your healing done and then see if they have a message for you. And we will meet you guys on the other side.
Okay, guys, welcome back. We hope you had a good one. We hope you got all the hurt feelings out, all the angry out. That is okay. You're supposed to bring that to the gods. It's okay. We're all human. We all get hurt sometimes. We all get knocked down sometimes. And it can be pretty painful. And you could have been on the cusp of working with Freya or Freya or Loki or Yard or anyone. Maybe even Jesus. We don't know. We don't judge on this channel. I got, yeah! <laughs> I got crispy queen. Yeah, don't push it, darling. But you could have been on the cusp of working with God, Goddess, Buddha, Tree Outside, and somebody said something mean on the internet, or you read a nasty article, or you went to Reddit. Reddit's a trash bird, guys. Let it go. Let it go. As the song says, I got, yeah, back here. Let it go. Let all that stuff just pour away from you, like on the waterfall. Now, Fur is a god that, in my experience, can heal a heart. So if you're still feeling a little heart sore, you can let him do a lovely healing with you in the waterfall or just with your permission, let him come up and touch your heart, touch the heart chakra and feel the golden healing energy going in and healing you and taking away all that pain and hurt and anger. And if you need to repeat this to do the healing a couple times, go ahead. We'll be more than happy to let you guys do that. We hope you guys have liked this one. We would like to start the future meditations off with story time because we feel it enriches the experience for you guys also it does give us more time with you guys which is always nice if you guys liked what you saw like comment subscribe and we will see you guys later bye bye